Well hi, it's Charlie and welcome back to Partick Hill Station. So today we're going to jump right into opening uh, my cricket machine. Today's the day I'm going to open it up and let you see what the cricket machine is all about and we'll get it set up uh, for this video. Uh, I'll follow that up with another video later on how I intend using uh, the cricket machine to enhance my model railway and I'm very excited about this so let's get into the other room and uh, do the unboxing. Okay there's a couple of uh, uh, components uh, to this cricket maker. Uh, the one thing is I got this uh, essential tool set and as you can see there's a, a, a small a cutting table and there's additional blades, uh, scissors and various tools that you use to uh, make different things through the Cricut Maker. So we'll set that aside for a moment. And now comes the big unboxing. I'm being careful here with a, an old foul uh, utility knife and I don't want to be cutting into anything so I'm being extremely careful about this so it was exciting opening a new box because you just never know what's going to be inside Okay, looks as if it's got a self-contained box, so we'll... Wow, it's pretty heavy. Well, it's a pretty heavy box, and uh, it's got a handle on it so that you can carry it around, or at least carry it home. And... Uh, now everyone can make something they love. Well, I've got a few things... I want to make with this uh, pertinent to my model railway so uh, let's just see if we can open up this terrific looking box uh, without damaging anything And it's really well packaged and the first thing that comes out is let's get started. To begin, go to cricket.com forward slash setup. But we'll just have a peek in here. Open me first. Uh, welcome instructions. And that's the, uh, uh, the cutting head that you attach to the machine. Okay, so we've now got the machine out the box and a nice uh, white coloured uh, adapter power bar. And it really is a nice piece of equipment. I like the kind of stainless steel top or ivory uh, enclosure. Going to have to be very careful here as I open this. I don't want to scrape uh, this beautiful machine. So they give you some great clear instructions. So unleash this beauty, plug in the power and let's go. And then to get connected, just go to cricket.com forward slash setup and we'll walk you through every step. And a safety issue is to keep the unit 10 inches clear uh, from the closest wall. So once you've gone online, uh, to cricket.com and gone through the setup 
it's quite simple. You make sure you've got your power cord in and make sure that you've got the USB connected uh, from the machine to your computer and then just follow a few simple steps and you're ready to go. And then you'll be presented with this uh, page from Cricut and they're offering you some simple designs. So let's just pick the crown here and see what happens next. So you've got to prepare for the cut and of course uh, they provide you with uh, the cutting sheets. Uh, there's two of them here. Uh, one pink and one blue. Uh, the pink one is for the fabric and the blue one will be uh, for the card. They also provide you an envelope which contains materials for your first project. And there's a nice little welcome book that you can work through and understand everything about how the machine works. I've set the blade in the head and we're ready to place the mat into the machine. So let's do that next. So the flashing light is going for cut. We'll just press that and see what happens. And there it's proceeding to cut out uh, the sample design. All being well, it will be a crown just as we had requested. See where the blade has been cutting the design. Oh, well, there you go. So there's the negative, and okay, so one of these nice little tools that I received as part of the package, I guess you can use to lift. All right. So there's my crown, uh, nice cuts, a little bit of uh, damage in the corner because I didn't lift it properly, but that's all part of uh, practice and, and becoming familiar with the tools, but a perfect little design, very simple, and uh, what a great start. So you're probably wondering uh, what I'm going to be doing with this. Well, let me just give you an example. So among other items, uh, I've built this by scratch building uh, using card. Uh, and you see there's the window frame that I stuck on in the inside. Now, I'll be able to sketch out uh, the sides and ends of uh, a building like this and the roof and then do the same with the windows. Cut them out or sketch them out, put them into the machine and have the machine cut them out for me uh, with great accuracy. And you know, this is another example here, very tedious having to cut this all out by hand. Uh, you know, and then of course there are the windows that have to be cut out, very, very tedious and it would look so much better if it was done 
uh, on a machine. And that was the reason why uh, I purchased uh, the Maker, because it's going to be perfect for this type of construction. And, you know, endless types of design that I will be able to make on this Cricut Maker. In the event that, let's say, the phone rings and you have to take the call, but you don't want to allow the machine to continue uh, without you watching it, there's a pause button here you can press and that will hold the process until you return. Also included in the box is a nice pen. The rotary blade looks really well made. And and this is your your standard cutting blade, which comes already uh, positioned in place on the Cricut machine. And when you're not using the rotary blade, uh, this is a little cover, plastic cover to protect it. So make sure you use this if you switch out the blades. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'd like to point out that it's not all about scrapbooking. Uh, there's lots of guys out there who do uh, the Cricut Maker uh, for a number of reasons, whether it's for making models or for the model railway or for some of their plastic kits. It's got a myriad of uses. And if you've got a hobby that requires innovation and designs, then check out the Cricut Maker. Uh, you won't regret it. So we'll see you next time. Bye for now.